Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's update our view on the gold market. So, as I said in today's Forex video, it seems that market is changing the mind. So, it uh, seems some uh, kind of the, I don't know, evidence or just revelation is coming to the minds of the investors just because the recent reaction was really it's a bit as irrational as, well, not not actually logical and as today is peter schiff has passed the, the tweet, tweets where he said it market behaves so like we have two percent inflation soft landing and common quantitative easing and it's difficult to disagree so whatever it is maybe mark just booking the profit before the non-farm pros release but i think that for profit booking too sharp reversal here that we have on the gold so anyway whatever it is it is perfectly fits to our trading plan long-term scenario so we suggest that around 1950 should be more or less moderate pullback and reaction on a strong resistance level on the monthly chart. We were watching and waiting for patterns and we said we are not considering taking new shorts by far as trend as gold was holding the trend on the bullish side and um, we said we do not uh, take the long positions but at the same time we are waiting for patterns before taking the short position. For those of you who would like to take the uh, to go against the major tendency and, and trying to catch the pullback here on the daily chart. Let's take a look what we have currently. So a few bearish moments uh, together. First of all, we have reversal type of action. So yes, there was a reversal session. So take a look. Market creates the new top and close below the lows of the previous session. This is important. This tells that at least on the lower time frame, we could get some kind of the ABCD patient to the downside, at least. Second, we have guys the uh, bearish double repo sell pattern. If even we're not taking into consideration this a bit choppy thrusting action, choppy starts start of the bottom of the thrust, right? And starts calculating right from here. Here we have enough bars to treat it as a thrust. So it's actually, even if we do not take this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and more. Close below the 3x3, close above the great in the new top and close below. This great shape of the uh, double repo cell, it suggests reaching of at least the 50% support of the whole thrusting action. So starting from here, it's somewhere around confluence area. So double repo suggests that market could drop, not necessarily today, but in general tendency back to the 1870 area, retesting of the trend line and hitting of the daily results very probable in the current circumstances. With this background, of course, we are not considering taking a new longs position. Trend has turned bearish as well. On the lower time frame, actually not many things to discuss. Uh, on the follow time frame charts, actually, you could see just a sharp reversal here. This, that's why in the intraday charts, on the hourly chart, mostly we have the similar scenarios on the forex, on the, on the euro currency. There we also have the sharp reversal. Uh, and uh, well, we just need to get some pullback and take position on some minor retracement. So at least the 1928 probably with some minor ABCD pullback. And so we have opportunity for where we could consider taking the short position if you would like to join and try to trade the patterns that we have on a daily. That's actually what we have on the gold. Also, we need to keep an eye on today's close prices just because it will be slightly lower. Uh, we could get the bearish reversal week on the weekly chart, which also might be important. And that's actually what we have. Let's see what we get on the non perils report and whether this will be able to provide us some volatility and a good chance for position taking.